You like to learn how to make a candy cane out of balloons? Well, let's go! For this design, we're gonna need two balloons of any color inflated all the way. I'm gonna use red and white. Now again, candy canes can be any color. They don't have to be uh, red and white, but I like the traditional peppermint candy, candy canes of red and white. So we got our red and white balloons inflated pretty much all the way. I like to leave just a little bit of like a nubbin at the end, just so that they have a little bit of squeezability, right? You don't want them to be over inflated, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at this end and I'm going to twist the two ends together, okay? Pretty simple, you just pinch and twist. Okay, then I like to hide these nozzles because I, I don't like having the nozzles visible. So just kind of wrap the nozzles around like that. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice tight spiral, okay? So what we're gonna do this is by pushing our hands together at the palms, like the heel of my palm right here, I'm gonna push together and then I'm gonna let my fingers do all the work. So I'm pushing and letting my fingers twist the balloons tight. Okay, what you don't want, which it's not gonna look good and it's not gonna work well, is I see some people do a really loosey-goosey spiral, right? Something like, like this, right? See how loose and just, it's, it's sloppy, it's messy, it's not gonna curve the way you want for a candy cane. You don't want a loosey-goosey spiral. You want a nice, tight spiral. So here's how we do that. We're gonna push the palms of our um, hands, the heels of our palms, push those together, and then take our fingers, and we're just doing, twisting it nice and tight all the way down. All the way to the end. And sometimes, just like with this one, sometimes you have one balloon that for whatever reason is a little longer than the other one, that's okay. Whenever you get to the, the where I'm running out of space on one of the balloons, just wrap it around. Sometimes it works out perfect and both balloons are exactly the same length. Sometimes for whatever reason, certain colors, certain brands are gonna be a little bit different sizes, okay? So we, want, we don't want this piece sticking off the end. So we're gonna break off the end, but we still wanna have the bubble there. Okay, so like this. Wrap it around, tuck it in, because you wanna hide the knot whenever possible. I don't like having visible knots on my designs. It looks much cleaner to not have the nozzles um, or the cut pieces sticking off. So here, see how this is much nicer than the loosey goosey one? It's a nice tight spiral. So you could just have a candy cane pole, ta-da! Or uh, sometimes what's fun to do is make this so a kid be like, okay, here's your North Pole. You wanted the North, oh, you didn't want the North Pole? Oh, you wanted a candy cane, got it. So <laughs> to make a candy cane, it's pretty simple. All you do is bend it down and I kind of, you could just, if you just do it, bend it down like to where you want it, it's not gonna hold. You gotta bend it past where you want it, like this, because you wanna create that curve, right? So you gotta bend it down a couple times, because you wanna create a nice, there we go. See, you wanna create that candy cane. And I like to joke with the kids, because balloons, believe it or not, are actually made out of plants. Did you know that? Did you know that? That balloons are 100% plant-based. So what that means, since balloons are 100% plant-based, that means that this is a vegan candy cane. Can you believe that? This is actually a vegan candy cane made entirely out of plants. And just like most things that are vegan, it doesn't taste very good. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, I just like, to, again, it's fun to have jokes and mess with people, but here is your simple one balloon candy cane. Duet or stitch this video to show me how you did.